Hello, everyone. Uh, this is just a short video summarizing the bitwise operators under basic instructions. Let's start off with bitwise AND. So this instruction sets register T1 to be the bitwise AND of T2 and T3. So as you can see here, this is a, a short example. Um, I'm loading T2 as 0xAA in hex and then T3 as 0xCC. In this instruction here, as you can see, perform actually performing the bitwise AND, I'm expecting a result of 88 hex or 136 in decimal. As you can see here, this is a brief, this is a brief summarization of the actual operation. Feel free to pause the video and take a look at that. We're printing the result and exiting the program. So let's test this. As you can see, it outputs our expected result of 136. Okay, so next let's do bitwise and immediate. So very similar to and, but the, the second value here in sub T3, we're just using an immediate or a constant value. So here, as you can see, we're, lo we're just loading uh, 0xFF or 255 in decimal to T2. We're performing a bitwise and with 100. And then that should that should come up with the same result, 100 in decimal. We're going to print that out as an integer and exit the program. So that's assemble and run. As you can see here, it outputs 100, which is our expected result. OK, next, let's do bitwise or. So bitwise or, very sim similar concept to and, but in, in this instance, T1 is set to be the bitwise or of T2 and T3. So as you can see here, set up very similar to bitwise and. We're loading 0xAA hex into T2 and 0xCC to T3. Performing that bitwise or, as you can see, we're expecting uh, 0xEE or 238 in decimal as the result. Again, feel free to pause the video, take a look at that. We're printing that result and we're exiting the program. So that's assemble and run. As you can see here, it outputs the desired result of 238. All right, now let's move on to bitwise or immediate, which is should be self-explanatory at this point. It sets T1 to be the, the bitwise OR of T2 and an immediate or constant value. So as you can see here, we're loading uh, 50 hex into T2. We're performing a bitwise OR with 100. And as you can see here, we're expecting a result of 74 hex or 116 in decimal. We're printing the result. Then we're exiting the program. So let's assemble and run. As you can see here, it outputted the desired result of 116. OK, next, let's do bitwise NOR. It sets, t it sets register T1 to be the bitwise OR NOR of T2 and T3. So as you can see here, we're loading the test values into registers. So I just did a full full number here for T2 and T3. And the we're expecting an output of just zero because everything can everything cancels out because the bitwise nor flips all bits. If it's just an or, it would be a full number. But in this instance, we're gonna just gonna perform that operation, print the result, and exit the program. So that's assemble and run. And as you can see here, it outputs zero, which is our desired result. Next, that's, well, finally, let's move on to the exclusive or instructions. So the last one's on this basic instruction, instruction sheet. So bitwise exclusive or, 
it sets T1 to be the bitwise exclusive OR of T2 and T3. Again, very self-explanatory compared to the other things. So we're, we're loading our test values into re the register. So 170 decimal, 204 decimal, and we're expecting an output of 102 decimal or 66 hex. So we perform that operation, print the result, and then exit the program. So that's assemble and run. And we get our desired output of 102. All right, the last one, bitwise exclusive or immediate. Again, similar to the other bitwise immediate instructions or any immediate instruction for that matter. So we're, we're loading the hex uh, zero, zero XFF or 255 in decimal into T2. And then we're performing bitwise or we're expecting 0x9b or 155 decimal. Again, I just put random numbers, hex numbers for all these examples to, to illustrate the concept. So then we perform the operation, print the result, and exit the program. So let's assemble and run. 155, which that checks out. It's important to note that there's extended uh, pseudo, also called pseudo instructions for more bitwise operators, and I can I can get to that at a different time, um, if there's if you guys want. But otherwise, um, thank you for watching and have a good day.